God, it's not fair. It is not fair. She thinks that God is punishing her. She says God is punishing her for something she didn't do. what's up family welcome back to my channel and if you are new welcome 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 guys i am back with another video and i must confess this vlogmas was more than i had anticipated and i have totally fallen off the wagon and so I have shelved Vlogmas for this year, but I will be back with a bang. So, today I am here with an update on Kaylan. You know, we have been following her progress and the whole situation since that fateful incident. And our hearts are still bleeding because Kaylan is still not yet recovered. And so today I have an update and it is not a very, it's mix, it's mix. On one hand, we are giving God thanks for the progress that she has made. And on the other hand, it is heart rending and heart breaking to see this vibrant, once healthy child lying there helpless. And she's also broken. She wants to go home and she can't go home. And her mom is broken. She's such a strong woman. But this has really taken a toll on her and she just gave in today. But we just want to tell her mother that we know that you're a strong woman and just go and hold the faith, mommy. God is with you. So guys, just watching this video, it brought me to tears and honestly, I don't even know what to say because I'm at a loss for words. All I can do is continue praying for Kayla. This is so sad. It breaks my heart just to know that so that people could have hurt someone so bad just for looking at them. So guys, I'm going to stop because it is tearing me apart and I'm going to put the video down. And I want you just to comment below, send up your prayers for Kayla. So guys, here we go. Hey guys, I'm going to give an update on Kayla now. Um, um, well, she's still here, so she's not dead, if that's what you're asking. Um, she's still here. Today's, today is a rough day for me. Today, today is a rough day. Today is a rough day. Today is a very rough day. Uh, you know, sometimes in life we take things for granted. Sometimes we take things for granted. And we don't focus on what is important. People and family 
and loved ones, you know, friends. We don't focus on them enough. Um, I'm going to update y'all on Kaylan. Kaylan, I'm going to give you the good news about Kaylan right now. Kaylan has started to communicate um, using her mouth. She, you won't hear any sound, but she can talk. She can talk somewhat. Not talk as in out loud talk, but you know, if you if you if you if she's starting to 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 form her words with her lips, um, you know, it, it, it's not it's not an easy thing to do this, and um, I, I, I didn't want to share too much with everybody, but I think. It's time that I just put what's going on with her out there so that we can we can give God some praise. Right? Cause because maybe that's what we need. Some praise. Give God some praise. Alright, so she's starting to move her feet. Well, the left side mainly. She's starting to do some some toe movements and I'm not talking when you tickle the foot bottom. I'm talking at will. When you tell her to move it. She's starting to move the fingers. On the left hand as well. Um, the hardest part of this is that she's communicating. Right now, right? And she wants to go home. And I have to keep telling her that she can't go home. Karen can't come off that ventilator. She can't breathe. Wow, guys. This is so sad. I'm begging you all, please, please pray can't for Karen. Breathe. Kaylan, heart is not keeping up. Kaylan has had, in the past 48 hours, well, less, she had two cardiacs in 24 hours. Um, yes, yes, not yesterday, day before yesterday in the morning, she had a cardiac unprovoked. Meaning they weren't moving her, they weren't doing anything with her, and the heart just stopped. Her heart just stopped for five minutes. For five minutes, right? And then yesterday, yesterday they were changing the tube. And her heart stopped again for 20 minutes. 20, 20 minutes. I never knew her heart could stop for 20 minutes. She wants to go home. And I can't take her home. She says she'd rather die than stay in the hospital. <laughs> She she's not she's just crying and she wants to go home and I can't take her home. I don't know why this is happening. The good news is she's young. I've purchased the pacemaker with the money that I have, all of the money that I have already. Um, I know that um, the guys on Chat and Love made a donation. Um, so when I receive that, that can go back into the account. But 
the pacemaker was an emergency, so I just went ahead and paid for it. Now, the pacemaker is something that she can never take out. It's something that is going to stay with her, in her, inside of her, until, you know, the end of time, I guess. Why? I don't know. I don't understand this. Why? Wow, mommy. Wish we had the answers. God, hear her cry. You know? Um... Again, I'm going to have to get a home ventilator eventually. I'm going to have to get nurses, not just a nurse. Nurses. Nurses to monitor everything, to take care of her. Um, you know, for the rest of our life. Um, how do you tell your child that they can't come home? How do you tell them why they can't get up? How do you tell them why you can't make things better? How do you tell her why you have to leave her? Because I have to leave her. Right? I have to leave her in there. When she's unconscious, it's different. When she's not communicating, it's different. But she is. And it's not fair. It is not fair. She thinks that God is punishing her. She says God is punishing her for something she didn't do. And she didn't do anything. She didn't do anything. It's not fair. It is not fear. <laughs> you know, still, still continuing to trust that God is going to, because that's all that basically she needs a miracle. That's what it is. A lot of things are unexplained. Medically, it's still unexplained. Because the spinal injury is there. But there's nothing to say what is causing it or what caused it. The surrounding tissue of the spinal injury. Is, is intact. So, basically... It's as if the spine just damaged on its own. That's what it would seem like. She's gonna be she's gonna be lying in her bed for a very long time. And she keeps why, 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 why? She wants to know why she can't get up. Why? Right? Why she can't get up? Why she can't do this? Why she can't do that? Why she can't go home? Why I have to go? Why she can't sleep in her bed? Why? I'm trying to be strong, but I... Today is not a strong day for me. Today is not a strong day for me. Today is not a strong day for me. But I wanted you guys to know that she's communicating. Starting to move body parts, her hand, her feet. Even with that sweet too, she's still doing something. But her heart keeps stopping. Her heart keeps stopping. Her heart keeps stopping. So now she's going to live with a pacemaker inside her.
You know? You know? It's all a 50-50 still. Even today, it's a 50-50 still. There's a chance that she might. That's just a chance that she might. There's a chance she might. You know? Keep asking God for mercy. Just to have a lick of it. Just a lick of it. That's all I'm asking. Just a lick of it of mercy. Just a lick of it of mercy. She's suffering. And that's the hardest thing. She's suffering. And that's, that's the heartbreaking thing. She knows that she's there. She knows that she's suffering. Still believe God is able. Because there's still no explanation to how she's starting to move. Um... Her brain seems to be perfectly fine, consciously. Um, she does have some memory loss, but overall, she's doing pretty well in that area. But she's still unstable, still fragile, still heart still stopping without probable cause. Well, the probable cause is the C2, but meaning unprovoked. Um, you know, she's already a miracle because this is now seven cardiac arrests. Seven times her heart has stopped now. I didn't even know a heart could stop for 20 minutes. That's a long time for someone to be dead and then to come back alive. Oh, Jesus. You know, I still thank you guys for being there, for praying. Because, you know, that's what got us thus far along with the doctors doing their part the nurse is doing their part you know the biggest part is being done by God you know we're just hoping that as mysteriously as spinal injury we're hoping you know it will disappear just as mysteriously my child is hurting and I can't fix it She's hurting and I can't fix this. I cannot fix this. I cannot fix this. I, I don't know why it's happening. Why is it? It happened and, 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 I, and, and, and I just want it to end right now. I just want her to get better. So I can stop telling her that she can't come home. Really and truly, the injury that she has... Um, her pathway is um, the maker for life, ventilator for life, immobility. Um, you know, but the only other option is a miracle. Miracle. That's what's going to make a difference. I left the hospital prematurely because I couldn't stop crying after talking to the doctors. I couldn't stop crying after talking to the doctors, so, um, yeah, and I couldn't keep crying in front of her, so, I just have to left, I just left, I told her I was going outside and I left, because I couldn't stop crying. And she was crying. Well, she was crying because she wants to come home. And I had to be telling her that she can't come home yet. She wants to know when. When. And I can't tell her when. I can't tell her when. Because I don't know when. <laughs> I don't know when. Her lungs aren't coming in any at all. She remembers everything. 
Her long-term memory is intact. Her short-term memory is the problem. She don't remember a lot of things that happened after the, the, the party. She don't remember even being in a fight. She don't remember any of that. She don't remember a lot of things. As well as she remember a lot of things. So, periodically, she will remember stuff. She knows me. She knows everybody. She knows a lot. I wasn't going to share these things. Because you know how people are. And based on how I'm feeling right now. I want everyone to know that she's she's there. She's, she's there. She's a person and she's there. She's there. And she don't deserve any of this. She don't deserve any of this. None of it. Every time I look at Kayla, I'm like in disbelief that this is actually happening. This is actually happening to my child, my KK. We have to just keep trusting God, really. Because that's it. You know, even the doctors say it's only going to take a miracle. And it's always going to be a 50-50 chance. But I believe God can turn that 50 into a 100 and a 1,000. So, my heart is breaking over and over again. Over and over. And each time it gets worse, I don't have a choice but to be strong if I can. That's all I can do. It's not a, it's not a thing that I can say, oh, I can't do it today, or I can't bother, or I'm not going to, I don't have a choice. So I have to just be strong. It's just, you know, I just have to be. It's not a choice I didn't choose. You know, but I wish things could have gone differently. I do. Wish I could turn back time. Wish I could turn back time. I wish I could turn back the time right now. I trust me. Wish I could just make it all go away. You know? God is able. Oh, I don't know how to explain things. I don't know. I can explain what she's, what's happening um, physically. You know? I can explain what's happening physically. The causes we cannot explain. We know it has to do with um, the injury. But how the injury was done, that's a mystery. How the injury was done is a mystery. <sighs> you know? I'm still in that hospital. I'm in the parking lot. Just asking you guys to pray my strength because I'm going to need it. I'm going to need it. And please pray for that spinal injury, that mysterious spinal injury. It's rough, guys. I'm telling the truth. I don't want this to happen to anybody. I don't want this to happen to anybody at all. Nobody. No matter who you be. Could have been my worst enemy. I don't want it to happen to anybody. Because this much level of pain is worse than physical pain. I better my foot it broke or I did get a shot or something. Because at least I know that's a pain, you know, that I can do something about. This pain, I can't do nothing about it. Nothing at all I can do about it. I can't do nothing about that type of pain, yeah. Still, I gotta keep trying, you know. Still, I gotta keep pushing. Still, I gotta keep fighting, not giving up. Whatever it's going to take, me I'm going to keep it. If me have to walk with collection plate to make you comfortable, I'm going to do it. I don't care who want to criticize me. I don't care who want to like me. I don't care who want to send me this, who want to send me that. I'm going to do what me feel necessary to make her comfortable. I'm going to do what me feel necessary to make her all right. Or forget whatever she needs. Don't care whatever, anyone or anything. What if you say? You understand? I am. I will never ever give up. I will never ever stop. 
Right now she's doing the, the, the impossible already. She's already a miracle. Seven cardiac arrests recently in within less than a day, in a day and a half, two cardiacs back to back and her conscious level is still there. She still can talk to me. She still can this. She's not talking as if, as how I would talk, but she's sounding her words with her lips and I can understand most of what she's saying not all some of them are still a mystery because she's not doing it a hundred percent as a normal person would the right side of the body has started to respond move by come with command you tell her to move it and she will it. right she can't put her foot in the ear she can't her foot but there's some movements And that is also unexplained because that self is a miracle. Because with the type of injury that, they, that we're seeing, she shouldn't be able to do that, but she's doing it anyway. So, God is God. I mean, now I'm going to stop to say that. And I'm sharing this with you guys because I want to send up the praise. Give God his glory. As you know, Maybe that is why a lot of times our blessings are delayed because we keep quiet when we are supposed to give God his glory. Right? God do something for we and we, and we hush hush with it. But when God, when God we get we beaten, we ball and we, we talk and we criticize and we find fault and a truth. And is this true? Because I have done it in the past. God, I bless you, and your blessing is a, is, a, is a mystery. Your blessing is so quiet. But when God beats you, the whole world knows that God beat you. Right? Everybody, you complain, complain, complain. God beat you, God beat you, God beat you. And you don't deserve the beating. When God do something good for you, you don't talk about it. You understand? So right now, who want vex, vex, who want have some fissure, some have some fissure, because at the end of the day, I am the person dealing with this reality. Me, every single day, and our family members. You understand? Dealing with this every single day. Have to be coping with this every single day. Right? I know me firsthand every day, you know, she's moving, communicating me, I fear, I try find answers because I don't want to lie to her. Me if I give her reasons why she has to stay there and why I have to leave her there. God deserves the glory because despite the fact that she's in still in this fragile state, there's still something to give thanks for. There's still something to give God to be glorified for. Alright? Still have to give God thanks. Still have to glorify God for what little we do still have. And trust me, it's still a miracle. Because based on track record, medically, she's not supposed to be doing any of what she's doing now. And she is so. To God be the glory. So. You know, <sighs> guys, just keep praying, please. I'm gonna be going back into fasting. I'm gonna be going back into fasting, pray some more because we need this miracle. Because that's what it's going to take. We don't need her to just get well. Because she's past getting well stage. Right? What we need is a miracle. You know? I'm going to go. Maybe I'll go back to see her. But I have to cool down first. I have to calm down first. Because I don't want her, her BP to go up. When she sees me crying, 
because that's what normally happens when I cry in front of her. Her blood pressure goes up, and that's you know that is also as dangerous as a low BP. We can't afford for to, I can't afford to be the cause of anything happening to her at the moment. She's making strides. At the same time, she's very very sick. She's very very sick still. One miracle, one Christmas miracle coming. Thanks for watching, guys. And let us continue praying for that miracle for Kaylin. And comment below and leave your thoughts. And stay tuned for the next video.